There were a bunch of protests and marches on tax day. Uh, Democrats flooded the streets. The Huffington Post says, Nationwide tax day marches demand Donald Trump releases his tax returns. The demonstrations were among the largest since the Women's March. Tens of thousands of activists demonstrated in cities across the country on Saturday, the date when Americans' taxes are normally due, to demand the release of President Donald Trump's tax returns. The largest marches took place in New York City and Washington, D.C. Some 100 other cities hosted smaller marches. Uh, protest organizers estimated that over 25,000 people attended the rally in Washington, D.C., and 20,000 people participated in New York City. Together, the rallies across the country were among the largest anti-Trump demonstrations since the Women's March, Women's March drew millions of people into the streets on January 21st. Trump says only the media cares about uh, his taxes. Today, we've proved him wrong. It's time for Trump to come clean so we know who he's really working for, said Working Families Party National Membership Director Nalini Stamp, a keynote speaker at the New York, uh, at the New York City March, I think they're supposed to say, uh, in a statement following the march. So, uh, Maxine Waters, uh, of course, Democratic politician, also gave a speech and said Trump should be impeached. Hmm. Not sure about the wisdom of that, given we just get Pence if you do that. I mean, that's like when people said under, um, uh, Bush. Impeach Bush, and then get what? Darth Cheney? And you think it's going to be better? I mean, Trump is horrific. Mike Pence, maybe just as bad, if not worse, because he's a genuine Christian fundamentalist, far-right guy who praised Rush Limbaugh and credited Rush Limbaugh for his career on the floor of Congress. He gave a speech where he said that. He doesn't believe in evolution, so the list goes on and on. He could do just as much damage, if not more damage, He's because he's pro-TPP uh, than Trump. So I don't know about the wisdom of that. Ron Wyden said, quote, We are taking the gloves off to say, uh, knock off the secrecy, Mr. President, and publicly release your own tax returns. So, uh, okay, understand something. Is it a good thing that we have, you know, this kind of public outrage and anti-Trump, anti-GOP sentiment at the moment? Absolutely. There's no denying that. And there's good reason for those feelings. So I don't want to be the kind of person who is so skeptical that I turn cynical and I'm like, Ma, why are you, why are you protesting? Protesting is not a good idea. But at the same time, let's be clear. This is a protest without a concrete policy goal. I mean, that's just a fact. So what you have here is a bunch of people saying, release your taxes, woo! Now, should he release his taxes? Of course he should release his taxes. Virtually every other president does it. And is, is he probably hiding stuff? Sure, of course. Why the fuck else would he not release it? I mean, there's a few reasons. Number one is he's not as wealthy as he says he is. It, you know, might show the extent of his failures. Um, but the other thing is it might show unsavory connections, of course. So should he release them? Totally. But it's not like, hey, you release him and then that's it, Trump's done. No, you would release them and the reaction would be, oh, he's corrupt. Yeah, and then? There's no and then, that's the point. They would release him and then it would fizzle out like every other fucking anti-Trump news story that the mainstream media focuses on. And hey, you don't really need the tax returns to prove that he's corrupt. He already appointed at least four Goldman Sachs officials to top positions. He fucking hired, guys, the president of Goldman Sachs. <laughs> Who does that? He ripped Hillary Clinton and Ted Cruz. Ah, sellouts to Wall Street. Tremendous, believe me. When he was campaigning. And he's like, okay, now that I'm, uh, now that I'm in here, uh, the president of Goldman Sachs I will hire. This guy took hundreds of millions of dollars on the way out the door. And then what? He's not going to do favors for Goldman Sachs now that he's in there? Of course he is. There was just an article in Reuters the other day. That's exactly what he's doing. So you have at least four Goldman Sachs officials who are lackeys to Goldman Sachs in Trump's administration, rigging the system more and more in favor of Wall Street, doing deregulation, trying to reduce corporate taxes, trying to let them, you know, do the, uh, keep their money in tax havens, so on and so forth. 
But the Democrats are like, Woo, release your tax returns, because then we might prove that you're, like, corrupt. Woo! He picked the CEO of ExxonMobil to be Secretary of State, and he said on the campaign trail, We should take the oil. Take the oil from Iraq. Steal the oil from sovereign nations. Just commit war crimes and say that we're committing war crimes and say that we're jacking natural resources because we want them. Tremendous. Believe me. Take the oil. Take the oil. Take the oil from Iraq. Take it. Take it. What more? What? Like... What you're looking for is already right in front of you, you fucking idiots. It's already right there. We need the tax returns to, like, maybe show that Trump's, like, a bad guy. Woo! He just dropped a near-nuclear weapon on Afghanistan. The largest conventional weapon we have. He dropped it on Afghanistan. Meanwhile, he says, well, well we're trying to take out ISIS. You know how many ISIS fighters there are in Afghanistan? 600 to 800. You don't need a near nuclear weapon to take them out, bitch. They say, oh, but there were tunnels. Yeah, you know who built those tunnels? The CIA to help the Mujahideen in the 1980s. So, I mean, the, the levels of silliness that are take part in this. I saw a great thing on Twitter where some guy was like, you just used that weapon to kill like 600 to 800 people? Just send some dudes from Chicago there. They'll take care of it. <laughs> Guys, come on, man. Come on, really? And by the way, ISIS and the Taliban are fighting in Afghanistan, so you don't need to drop a near-nuclear weapon. Where's the protest for that? Where's the protest for the fact that Trump just attacked the Syrian government? He just bombed the Syrian government. The Syrian government is fighting ISIS and Al-Qaeda and jihadists. That doesn't mean the Syrian government is good, but, yeah, they are better and more preferable to Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Do you disagree? So, hey, he can bomb them, and they did it with fucking very little evidence as to, oh, there was a chemical attack. Our allies are doing chemical attacks. We do chemical attacks. We're using depleted uranium tips in Syria right now. We give Israel white phosphorus and sarin. Same with Saudi Arabia, and they use it in Yemen. We don't care when that happens. But when it's an enemy, oh, yeah, we gotta attack, attack, attack. You, you have a president who is unhinged. Drone strikes increased 432%. Loosen the rules of engagement, which are already loose. We've already killed... He killed an eight-year-old girl in his first military act. Where are the thousands of people? That's, there should be millions of people in the street holding up signs with that little girl's face on it. Uh, an eight-year-old American girl. He killed her. In his first military act as president. And by the way, he wasn't even in the fucking situation room at the time. He was golfing. So give me a fucking break. Like, what, Trump could eat a goddamn baby or drop a nuke on Finland. And the Democrats would say, release your tax returns. Woo! Again, should he release them? Of course. And I'm happy there's this kind of, you know, outrage directed at this guy, because there should be outrage directed at him. But can you harness your anger towards something more concrete and productive? Like, for example, single payer. I mean, they proposed the most comical, ridiculous bill of all time in Trump care. Cuts Medicaid $880 billion, is a $600 billion tax cut for the ultra-rich, increases the uninsured rate from 10% to 19%. A joke of a bill. Why aren't all the Democrats out there in the street saying, here's a quote, you could hold up posters with quotes from Trump about how he's in favor of single payer, how we need a Canadian style system, how his friend went to Scotland and they had the best health care, tremendous health care, we could have that kind of health care here and they have a single payer system. Go out in the street, get, show his quotes, say, are you a liar or are you going to follow through and make America great again and do single payer? And there's a bill proposed if we were all out there forcing the Democrats on that position, we could actually get shit done. You gotta, you gotta be smart in your approach. It's like, I swear to God, the corporate Democrats, it's like they try to use the worst possible arguments. Again, Trump could eat a baby and they would come out the next day and say, this is just a distraction from the Russia scandal. He just ate a fucking baby. Why don't you hammer away on the fact he ate a baby, increase your own... Uh, approval ratings, win in the light next election, and then do what you want and get your policies in. But they can't do it because they don't know how to argue, they don't know how to frame, and they're a bunch of losers. So, again, let me be crystal clear. Should Trump release his taxes? Yes. Am I happy there's a groundswell of support mobilizing behind this issue? Yes. I just wish 
there could be leaders who were more intelligent, who could direct this energy in a more productive way. So we get single payer, we get free college, we make the minimum wage a living wage and tie to inflation. There are real people out there who are hurting, and we're not really improving their life by just demanding that Trump release his tax returns to show that he's corrupt. When we already know he's corrupt, he appointed Goldman Sachs fucking everywhere! He raised taxes on the middle class his first day in office! He removed- rolled back an executive order that was an effective tax break for first-time home buyers. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. Protests and the wars. We got seven different fucking interventions going on right now. You're gonna talk about tax returns. Maybe I'm being a curmudgeon, maybe I'm being a dick, but look, if that energy was focused on a concrete policy goal, or a few of them, we would have a much better chance of either getting that accomplished, or you're, you hammer away on issues that really resonate with everybody in the country across a partisan divide, so you raise the popularity of the left and the Democrats in general, then you win in the next election in a wave, and then you actually get these policy goals implemented. So... Just be more productive. Just do it.